Hey YouTube, just doing a quick walkthrough on my um, HTC Magic. Let's move that tripod, put that there. The case, just like I suspected, the case, it's nice to have a case, but this case gets dirty really soon and it just looks a bit... Uh, it's not the best case, but it's okay considering it's free. Just do a quick walkthrough of the phone. Uh, please ignore the background, my flow. Eyes on the Android phone. Um, right, there's the there's what the home screen looks like. You've got your nice nice buttons here. Your back button, your search button, call and power up. Your menu, your home button, and you've got a nice trackball. Um, but <coughs> so far that I've used the phone, um, it is great. It is awesome. Trust me, this phone um, is just brilliant. Um, the heart, the power of the phone. The phone looks good. It's really nice to use. It feels good in your hand. It's nicely built. Um, I think it's it's a bit it slips a lot. I start, it, the the grip wise because it's so shiny. You you can easily have your sweat sweat marks and fingerprint marks and things like that. Uh, but it's nice. Android is nice. You've got your access to your own kind of well, an an application store. Um, I'm just trying to focus it. Where uh, you can you've got access to your own Android market. It's a bit like the App Store. Um, and these are some of the apps that I've got downloaded. System games. And that's Flash Cup there is an application which basically I can use the screen as a torch it's, it just sets the screen to the maximum brightness from my calendar widget there and this one is like a task manager oops sorry task hit on the wrong one um, that's a task manager it shows you what tasks are running press the back button and I've got the toggle settings which is basically an application that can switch between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Just turn my Wi-Fi on to show you guys what the uh, internet browsing looks like. So that's why I start connecting. Let's show my other screen. You have a Google search widget, my music widget, and I've got Facebook app and my browser, YouTube, and some other apps there. I'll just quickly go to the other page. I am using Chomp SMS. Chomp SMS is great. Um, you have like an iPhone style threaded threaded chat. Your messages are in the threaded style. It's like a bit like the iPhone, um, and it it works great. I like it. It makes it really fun and intuitive to use. Um, but must give to be honest, must give iPhone the credit there. But it's nice to have that app on here. Um, as far as keyboard is concerned, you don't get the uh, iPhone like keyboard. In fact, you get Cupcake, the keyboard provided by Cupcake. You get it in the landscape as well. The keyboard is brilliant, really nice to use, nice and easy to use. You have to get used to it. I have problem typing with my uh, left left fingers. Um, it works great on my right thing, right hand, uh, but with the left hand, I need to get a bit more used to it. But it's nice and responsive. It's nice to have haptic feedback. Uh, let's go back to the phone. Let's just quickly go on the dial and show you how the scrolling, what the scrolling is like. Like I say, it's very responsive. It's nice and easy to use. Um, and you've got the little button on the side, so as you can scroll up and down, it scrolls with the... You get your alphabet, which makes it a bit easier to scroll if you've got large lists. <coughs> um, I'll just quickly go on settings. Uh, come on, focus, focus. Uh, focus. Really nice, uh, nice phone. Um, really nice word, nice to use. You have your 1.5 firmware, HTC Magic, and it's brilliant. I would recommend the phone to anyone. Um, however, there are a few things I've got. I'm going to mention. Uh, firstly, battery life. Now, the battery life for me person, I think the battery life is atrocious. Now, I, I, the reason I say that is because the Sony which I had, I used to get 
at least five, maybe five day battery. I, I could use it for five days without charging it again. Now, however, that's an unfair comparison because this phone is a smartphone. And for a smartphone, firstly, you are expected to carry the charger with you. And secondly, I, you shouldn't expect five day battery life out of a smartphone. Um, I, I, to be honest, the best I've got is uh, a day and a half um, with this phone. Um, and yes, it, I, I do charge it a lot more often, but that's unfortunately that's one of the things you can't get around it at, at the moment, I think. Um, but and so no, the other thing you've got to bear in mind is the um, Bluetooth. Now the Bluetooth on this, I have tried but failed. But I can't send any information. I can only I think I can only connect to a headset. I can't send any information uh, via Bluetooth, uh, and that really sucks. Bluetooth is is like a basic feature and functionality that's used so much every day. It's just a shame it's not there on this. That's kind of going two steps forward and five steps back kind of thing, um, and it. You know, it's got. I just. I call it. It's got basically an iPhone Bluetooth, which is disgusting. I think I'm. I was quite appalled by that. Um. But yeah, I mean, I've got my uh, things like my email pushed to the device, my Yahoo email account, so that works great. Uh, don't want y'all to see my email. Just trying to. But yeah, I've got my emails pushed, pushed to the device, which is great. Um. What's next? The camera. The camera is really good. It takes good pictures. Obviously, it does not have a flash in in normal lighting condition. It, it takes good pictures. Camcorder is not not that great. It's okay for what it is. It's not the best. Um, uh, don't know if I've got time to quickly go on browser, but um, I'll just quickly go on something. There you go. That's Mr. Obama in the house. He is, yeah, but look at him, so cool, he's so cool, Al Presidente, or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll just go uh, back to results. Uh, web. The browser, especially, it's just so nice to use. Um, I must say it's not as quick as the iPhones, but it's definitely smooth. The interface-wise, it's definitely smooth. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I think if I plan to get another touchscreen phone, it has to be either the iPhone or one of these Android phones because I don't think there is any other phone at the moment in the market that is as responsive as this. And it's got this little button here, which kind of magnifies which uh, whereabouts you want to have a look at, and you just leave it. It just zooms in. That's pretty nice. Uh, obviously, you've got your uh, sideways, your landscape, and that's all good. Unfortunately, I am going to be giving this phone back. I'm going to be sending it back to Vodafone. Now, the reason being is no, it's got nothing to do with the phone. The phone is brilliant, but it all comes down to money. I'm paying twenty-five pounds at the moment a month for this. Uh, and I think that is a lot of money considering that I can get I can get like a super discount with Orange. Um, I can get a 40% off any tariff with Orange uh, because of where I, I work at a, a retail store which in a, entitles me to that discount. And I think I'm going to go for that. Uh, I'm going to mean while I'm going to use my um, my um, Sony Ericsson. Um, so maybe I might. I'm, I was looking at Orange's website. I quite like the uh, the new upcoming Sony Ericsson W995. Uh, but for all of you out there, if you're interested in this phone, I'm going to say go for it. If you're happy with the uh, you know the fact that it does not have proper, proper Bluetooth, um, I'm going to say go for the phone. The phone magic is cool. The Android Android gets a big big thumbs up. Um, and I know there's already a couple of other Android phones uh, phones announced. There is the Samsung i7500, but the Magic definitely at the moment is the hottest looking phone. Anyway, that's me. 
um, hopefully I'll get another phone and do you guys a review.